Cancelled. Don't remember doing this at all. I can only hold myself accountable. Cancelled. I am just. Look how good my life is. So what else? Cancel me. Tan emoji is cancelled. No, 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 no. What was what was the song? Me and Tana were in the car the other night and trying to. She was trying to figure no, out a song. No, oh, oh. And we were like both. It, it's like an electronic song. It doesn't have any words. We were both like trying to sing it to each other. Like, How does wub, it go? Wub, yes, wub, wub, yes. Wub, 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 wub. No, but it's like na ni na ni na. I don't. I don't want. I don't even want to go there. Wait, my favorite um, thing lately has been yo le yo le yo le. <laughs> you gotta hit that. Good at it. You know what Brooke's favorite thing has been? I'm not kidding. There's two separate instances where I've been with her and she's just walking around the house going, beat, beat, beat my BFF. I'm like, I can <laughs> never <laughs> escape Bella Thorne. Hell no. She, you know That's she made sure That's my song of the month. Wait, I can't hear in my headphones. She commented hot on my photo the other day, Bella. Wow. She did? Oh, she, she didn't even slide up. She commented. Yeah, like kind of. I cannot funny. relate to that. <laughs> no, no, but no, nobody's no, commenting no, on my photos. No, imagine she like, actually like deletes the comment and puts thought star. What did I just? I just saw her in something, and I was like, "Wow, Bella Thorne." I forget. I she's like really like she's she's really just like in movies. You're like I forget I she's know. like a celebrity actress. She is. No, I do forget seriously. that because I think of Bella just like Bella. I was on a plane and I was watching this movie the whole time, and there was this character in the whole time. I was like, but it was an Adam Sandler movie, and I was like, oh, this looks like Bella, like whatever. And I watched the whole movie and I look it up, and then it's just like her, like young as fuck. And I was like, that's like you acted with a, like as Adam Sandler's daughter, like that's crazy. She did. That's yeah. huge. In a great like, movie. Bro, that's my no. That's not my dream. My dream is to play Adam Sandler's wife. I don't think I'm hot enough. They always give him like super, like the most beautiful women of all time. <laughs> they she's really like, do. She's like hoping for a sex scene. Seriously. I know, I'm like, like, I'm like, run that back. I don't, I don't feel like I performed well enough. <laughs> no, seriously, that's Wait, my I dream need, like, man. You know what I've been eating a what? lot, and I need an actual seriously serious prison for this. But pickles and peanut butter. Pickle in a fruit roll up. No, that's a real thing. People say that's delicious. And then putting a taki on top and you take the bite. Oh my God. And I've been muddling. And the fact that I even know what that word means because I don't even cook. <laughs> I've been muddling takis in a jar and then dipping the pickle into the taki dust. You are a genius. I'm just saying at home, if you're if you're feeling spunky and bored, I also freeze froze pickle juice. <laughs> um eating the little cubes. Wait, you know what I just realized? Oh, pickle pop. What? We didn't even like introduce like, welcome back to this new episode of Cancel. Oh yeah, 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 I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I really be forgetting to do things like that. Um, We've actually been podcasting for the last two hours, but we are trying to stack episodes for we you guys. We want to double up, baby, because I know we didn't Y'all will so go hot. feral. So we are coming back with today's episode with the iconic Amari Stewart. Woo! Yes. Really nice to meet you. So nice to meet Big you. Fan. Imagine if what we did is we just misspelled my name and to get people to think that like a real celebrity was on here, we put Amari Stoudemire. Like, who, who is, is that? Amari Stoudemire? Basketball player. Oh, is I he should hot? know that. I'm trying to know that. <laughs> Chris like, comes me. inside and just fucking slaughters you. But imagine He's I'm like, like, now I'm leaving. Yeah, Chris Miles is actually in the viewing party for today's, the past two episodes. So I... I know. She, as soon as she found out she was here, you should have seen the silence that became <laughs> that came after. No, and then Chris hysterical. walked. I walk outside and he just has the Uber screen up and he goes, "Now nah, you could tell your funny stories." <laughs> I was like, you, but, so even funny. before he got here, you didn't say anything bad. So. Yeah, I've, I've been. I don't know. I've been trying to air out like. Yes, Amari, ride for your girl. <laughs> oh my god, we were talking about today how the comedy store story. Yeah. Okay. You guys remember when <laughs> when I told the the fib about <clears throat> me performing at the comedy store. That's that's the beginning of me and Amari's major beef. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's a snitch, and that was like such a harmless joke, and he just went uh, so far out of his way to make it unfunny. Brooke well, had this lie and this joke and this bit that she was telling me something that she did that she didn't do, and basically for a while I believed it. And I was Everyone going was crazy. in on it, and Amari had to be the one who was like, "Nope, it's not true." She's well, okay, made, no, here's what up. happened. Like, no, it, was, it was sad. It was sad though. Like. <laughs> Poor girl looks at me like she. It was just like sad. She looks at me and she goes, "Did you know?" Because we were talking about how like, wow, we've getting pretty fucked up lately. She goes, "Did you know that recently I was so fucked up at Brooks, like at Brooks set at the comedy store, and I don't remember a single thing." And she said that I was there and like she told so many funny jokes and I loved it. And I was like, "No, I was." I like, felt bad. I was like, "Oh, she like, thinks that she like needs to go to rehab." That's okay. <laughs> okay, well then explain that. Like, but when, but when no, she honestly, found you out, y'all should have just let me go. Shit. <laughs> I went through every single member of the fit friend group and I in interrogated them did you snitch on me and every every single one's like no 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 amari looked me deadpan and he's literally like why the fuck would i tell her that i didn't like i didn't stop fucking accusing me i would never tell her that and he did 
dead. <laughs> and then Yo, she's but- like using Ty too. And Ty's like, Ty's sitting there knowing that I told you. And he's like, why the fuck does she think I it's me? Because I'm the you. newest to the friend group. Like, are you serious? <laughs> it was oh a God. it was a big fight. <laughs> it was really funny. But I did apologize. I was like, honestly, I just felt yeah, really I, bad I, for the I girl. Accept that newest uh, that was so funny. Group. We were getting ready for the fair, I think. And you were like, wait, by the way, Amari, come in here really fast. <laughs> I, was, I like, was so pissed. Like, was that? <laughs> it was really funny. So you guys beefed. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, I know. I'm a like beef, the collab beef, you never thought a, you'd see. Everyone beef, thinks me beef, and Amari beef. hate each other because he subtweeted me heavily. <laughs> it's funny though because like I feel like no one, like not many people on the internet, really even gave a fuck or probably even they noticed. They didn't. T- t- Tana was joking today. She's like, "You guys should say that your beef was all for publicity." We're like, "Yeah, what the publicity? worst publicity stunt ever." Like right. no one fucking cares. <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding? <laughs> ever, but I think that's just so funny. I think I'm gonna start saying that. That was crazy everything. though because I've never I fought I I fight a lot with Ari. I fight. A, I mean, I don't really fight much with. With you but we've had a big a yeah. big tiff and that was my first fight with Amari and yeah was, well like, also pretty... I'm just like the type of person where like you could literally like knock my teeth out and I like wouldn't care like it, it really like takes like a lot or not even a lot but like if I'm Damn, like, really you... offended it takes like something big to like actually like, upset me because I really I let so many things slide that I just really well, don't, don't make, give a you're fuck gonna about. make it sound like I did something really bad no. No, you no. Made it sound like she killed your family <laughs> she, she could kill my family and I'd probably be like hey, but like, we were both very stubborn we both felt yeah, very absolutely. passionately upset about yeah. our particular I honestly side. just think that the way you guys made up is what makes it so funny how did we make up I, it was, it was uh, the oh, night we of the really roast standing yeah. together at, at Poppy and, and he, he, he They're says trying to kick to me, me out of the like, fucking table. I was like, ew. <laughs> You're like, can we be friends? Can you keep me in? That's no, she like, was why? being nice. She was being nice. And she like turns to me and she's like, if they're trying to kick you out of the table, at least like drink up all this alcohol before they like get you out. And I was like, he's like, are I we friends, friends again? again? No, yeah. Then I like look at her and I was like, should we just like be friends again? I was like, I'm honestly, like, yes. we're standing to together. Like, we're standing like, together for so long. And I'm like, I'm not going to just sit here and stand. Like we're pressed up against each other and Poppy. I practically Yeah, we sat at the roast together too. And it was just like, you were at the same table at the no, roast? No, like we We weren't sat- even at a table at the roast. No. Let's talk about that. Uh, like, um, our, um, our Ari and Lila <laughs> well, are like Whittaker, front like- row. I'm in the back, like. Right? I'm like, I want to be seen. I know, I didn't good. see you. Yeah. I didn't I see you. I was upset because I kept looking I didn't for you. Because I was trying to look at you being like, like, did I do good though? You know, and I like couldn't find you. You did do really well. Yeah, you did. I love you, you really for that. Cool. But I was great. trying to look to you for reassurance and I just couldn't find you and I was freaking out. We were in the um, back right hand corner. I heard Natalie bowling the whole time. Natalie, bless her she heart. She's so screaming. She's hysterically funny. I bless bless her. her heart. She's Such just a blackout. You'd say like one thing. She's like, yeah, she does. <laughs> I did. Well, she dead silent. Silent people, like everyone's just listening to the roast and then, oh God. I, I get like, like secondhand embarrassed though. I had a lot of hard times where it was like someone would Hit, like say a joke that didn't land and I would just like laugh obnoxiously just so they didn't feel awkward That's it's like so they nice. can't hear you anyway like and I'm laughing at Josh Richards who just like fucking apparently hates me anyway so. <laughs> <laughs> you're like I regret pity laughing I do I'm like your jokes weren't even fu- your jokes were mean <laughs> Josh came for me honestly I will validate myself in that sense um so hey guys Love that you're friends again. I just recently did that. Me and Isabella Fusco are friends again. Uh huh. Wow. I Does feel like she that's want the first you to say that? She, I think she's like scared. I think she is too. Actually, she's afraid. She just doesn't want. Any, I understand any sort of attention. She's like about private. She's like yeah. Like she doesn't. Uh, maybe I won't. Should I just cut no, it? No, it's fine. I want everyone to know because I feel like it's exciting. Well, I, I yeah, no, didn't. seriously. I was like, it's like a national holiday. Like when I we were know, getting ready we for always, like, we love fun. Shaq's Fun House. And like you were in the house I hanging showed, out. Isabella I showed up. was out in the house I show up. Out. Me and Ashley get out of our Ubers at the same time. So me and Ashley walk in together. It's like, Brooke and Ashley are here. Everyone's like, and I, uh, Isabella's there. Yeah, I, there. I was uh-huh. like, wow, what a fun day. No. I was like, wow, our friend group is finally living out like full-blown harmony. I'm like, we're, grow- we're growing up. No, we see, I, But I'm excited for the next big blowout. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm not involved in this one. I need a break. No, <laughs> honestly, I I can see it being like Lila. I can see it being me and Lila even maybe. Oh my God. She just hits you. She would. Lila would molly whop my ass and she would beat the fuck out of me. Oh, with, with sure. a bottle I, of I just know well. Lila can fight. All right, canceled listeners. If you're an adult and you choose nicotine to relax like me, focus or just unwind after a long day. Side note, the people who took me to Justin Bieber last night are the ones who invented that. When it was it worked. Lucy is a modern oral nicotine company that makes nicotine gum, lozenges, and pouches for adults who are looking for the best, most responsible way to consume their nicotine. It's a new year. Why not start it out by switching to a new nicotine product that you can feel good about? When I'm on a plane or a place where I'm unable to use my vape, 
Lucy is my go-to. It tastes great and it's effective. If you enjoy using nicotine, you should definitely check out Lucy's products at lucy.co. That's lucy.co and use promo code canceled at checkout. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Remember, if you're interested in a better way to use nicotine, visit lucy.co and be sure to use that promo code canceled. Thank you, Lucy, for sponsoring today's podcast. Trisha Paytas is pregnant. I... I'm here for it. Same. I think she's going to be a great so mom. Pro- I'm so I'm excited here for, for her. I think that there, obviously, when you're like an influencer or whatever, you invite people to comment on your lives. But I, I just genuinely think there are certain things that you should absolutely never comment on. And yeah. that's somebody's... I agree. Whether or not somebody is suited to be a mother is an inappropriate topic. That and I know should ever, ever talk about damn. Well, I'm not about to be. I would never, ever be someone to say someone else is going to be unfit as a mother, because one day, by the grace of God, <laughs> one's going to stick. It's just like, why? <laughs> like <I'm gonna> fucking, <laughs> it's so like, shit. Imagine being so like happy and excited yeah. about something. And like literally the entire Internet is like telling you, like, you shouldn't you. You shouldn't have children. Like, that's so fucking awful. And. She's smart. She's funny. She's she has a lot of money and all the resources in the world. There's no reason that she could not raise a child just as and well I as think anybody that else. Knowing yeah. Trisha well enough, I do think I know her well enough. I, I mean, and maybe I'm wrong to say this, that she wants to be a great mother. And I could see her if she even had anything to like fix. But no one's perfect as a parent anyways, I'm saying. But I would see her like actively seeking. Bro, my mom wasn't fit to be a mother. Like, and she's I love her. I mean, yeah, she's I a flat she's awesome. earther now, but. I lost Wait, out she's on a that flat one. Earther? My mom's on her flat earth kick right now. Oh my like, god. Like yeah, <laughs> that girl is off her rocker. And I don't I that awful transition because I don't want to seem like I'm comparing Trisha to to my mother at all. But this girl, if you saw the videos that she sends me every day. What does she do? Oh, she thinks that, first of all, my mom is one hundred percent certain that all of us are gonna live on Mars in five years. Five years. Oh, wait, I think you were telling me about this. <laughs> She's been, like, sending you TikToks. I swear, and, or... and my sister and I will, like, explain to her every detail of, like, why that, that like, that is actually physically impossible. It is not, you cannot live You could on have my, me at 20 years. Like, like, but my Musk. mom's like, Elon Musk has it figured out. And then she has, she has this whole thing about, like, the fifth dimension, and I'm not invited, apparently, because I <laughs> won't watch the videos. But she sends me the videos, and the front page will be, like, Literally, like Khaleesi and her fucking brother, and like riding a horse, and it'll be like, "Why?" This uh, is. I'm like, "Mom, there's no way uh, you just sent me this Game of Thrones even... ass theme video." Also, you what makes you think it? that like Elon Musk is taking any of us to my, Mars? I with know him. Elon Musk <laughs> is like, not y'all... worried about if whether or not my mom is gonna make it onto Mars. Yeah. So like, that's She's what like, I'm like, Elon "Mom, told you put me. So it's about to be like Kim Grimes and A E I O U, like in nothing else." <laughs> <laughs> like, not A E I O U. I don't know its name. I'm surprised you knew all those. Sorry. <laughs> right. We just played Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader on the last episode. And she was like, I'm sometimes not. why, right? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> God damn it. You, you'd think I'd just know anything, you know what I mean? I'm, do you know, I don't even know if I should say this. Maybe I'll cut it out, but I just got a book deal. <laughs> I know. What's the last that's the read? joke. <laughs> like, that's the joke. I think, I think it'll be fine. I, <laughs> I've been reading a lot lately, okay? And it's my really? new thing. I've been reading. I've, I've been reading, okay? And I said that to my friend the other day. She's like, you write a book? All bitch. Like, I'm like, I did read a book. And now I want to read 10 more. Chapters. I like to listen read? to books. And I, I read, say I read uh, them. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. And now I'm reading Verity by Colleen, Colleen Hoover. And I'm reading a book called Beach Read, but it's a little slow start. I am listening to Mike Malak's book. <laughs> he was just telling me about it the other night. He was like, he's really proud of it. Apparently he's about to write another one. He showed me all of the like outline for the next one. And it, it's honestly phenomenal. And I think this one's phenomenal. That's my I new really bestie, do. y'all. I'm sorry for the, all the things I said about him. I've been hanging out with him or not like hanging out with him, but I keep like, like running in out. everywhere. I just love him. Honestly, I think I love him too. He was so fucking nice to me the other day at Jeff's. Like it was just actually very sweet. I, I think I love Mike Malak. He is actually the best. He's really nice. He's really funny, too. And just overall, like, a really fun person. Imagine if I just fucked my whole life up, turned everything around, and just fucked him. What? Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just uh, bro, we're just trying to have a nice conversation I'm about not Mike Malak. Like, could you imagine the world war? I'd do cost? it. Just for, just for like, the experience. Just because of, uh, it would really bring everything full circle. I really just want to, like, stop having intrusive thoughts, though, about, like, what if I just did this to, like, fuck everything up? Like, I, why? Why? I have a lot of those thoughts as well. Like, oh, God, imagine what, what I could stir up if I just, like, fucked, like, <laughs> Her man's best. That that would that would do something. Okay, I do have six topics. Trisha being pregnant was one of them. Me hopefully being pregnant soon would be amazing. I would. I God. I, when I started my period this time, I was actually disappointed because had I been had I been pregnant this time, it would have been a gold mine. She said shit. <laughs> <laughs>
I would have had the best. Oh my god, I would have been kept the fuck out of that kid. I would be in an incubator. Like, can I? Can I ask you an honest question? Yeah. Have you ever had sex with someone and you wanted to keep the baby? So afterwards they come in you and you go like this. No, like I want to. I'm like, gonna like, go ahead and give a nice little no. shake. Yeah, but like, or is it just like I do actually usually practice like um like preventative methods. There's not usually like a come in me situation. Anyway. I don't believe you. Yeah, and like not. preventative methods, not like oh I'm gonna like I want yeah, to it's get not, pregnant. Uh, yeah, no, but I'll, uh, that's this past situation, girl. I I was like, light me the fuck up. I swear. <laughs> to God. I should know about this, but like I I don't because I'm a guy. But when a man gets a vasectomy, does that mean like he can't come anymore, or is sperm you, you is come, infertile? You're like, or... You come, but you're shooting blanks. Yeah, it's like in, there's no sperm in it. It's just like the the. the... You, you really? Like, I didn't know like, that. Oh, no, 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 no. There's there. liquid. Why but did it's you like... do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm like for the audio listeners. <laughs> Duh. Duh. <laughs> Awful. That's no. so crazy. It's crazy to me that you can like reverse a vasectomy too. I know. That, why doesn't Drake, Drake just get a vasectomy instead of putting hot sauce in his condoms? Oof, you like know. you could reverse it when you want to like get a girl pregnant. I don't. Wait, why did he put hot sauce in the condom? So that because uh, because did you hear what happened? I heard about like some bitch <clears throat> said because like, the girl put it inside of her and she tried to like. Like shoot it up there to get pregnant by Drake. Oh, like afterwards. Yes. Oh, like she okay, went in yes, the bathroom yes, yes. and got the condom out of the trash and put it inside of her. But then it had hot sauce in it. And she was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> my cooter is on Imagine fire. Imagine how embarrassing I would have been like, oh like my flaming God. hot Wait, pussy. It's like, it's like in white girls are like, something's wrong, Dr. Drake. My coochie got the beep <laughs> 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 off. Oh, Bro, that's the best movie of all time. Remember when Marlon Wayans literally DM'd me a picture of both the sisters, circled himself and said, you look just like this one? <laughs> That's a fun story. That's wow. so. I was blonde so. at the time, and I I really looked. First of all, I worked at Catch, and I walked Marlon Wayans to his table, and it's tricky. Was playing on the radio. I go, I have to be getting. What's right it's now. tricky? Like it's tricky, tricky. It's from the oh, movie. Oh, and they like do when that. they do the backflips and shit. And yeah. it's from and I was and I looked at him, and I'm like, you admit this is funny. Like, that's right? like, like a movie. Like, like awesome. every line. That's too. and an after that, like I I just like knew him because he would always come in and stuff. But one time he sent me the photo. Like he Googled the photo of the white chicks, circled himself, and I still have it. I have a screenshot of it. But he and he goes, you look like this one. <laughs> Thanks, Marlon. I don't even know what I would do. Right. Do. People like, often say I look or... like that, though, so, like, I can't. Like... I did look like that. Loki, he was hot. Honestly, fair. Um, What was I going to say? Oh, I was going to say you have the best celebrity, like, encounters. Like, they I got so much from Catch. That was, like, the most exciting job just because I always knew that someone good was Yeah, that is awesome. Just, the ASAP yeah. Rocky thing is so funny. Can you talk oh about God. that? Oh, my God. Wait. Guys. Oh, okay, okay. Well, first of all, I would never come on the podcast and talk about a celebrity that I've hooked up with by name. I, I, if I talk about a celebrity or like whatever an encounter, it's because I've never had relations with that person. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so uh, anyone can get the smoke. Like if, if I've <laughs> if I've actually hooked up with someone, I'm not saying your name. You know what I mean? Like so I, because I don't want people to be scared of me. So like, I I told this story on TikTok about it was years ago. I messaged ASAP Rocky on Instagram. He responded. And we like exchanged a couple messages and then he like stopped responding. So I, I, I don't know what came over me, but I messaged I, him and I said, for someone called ASAP, you don't respond very fast. Which I think is mad funny. Like, I, yeah, thought, I funny. thought maybe he has a sense of humor. Yeah, I feel like that's the kind of, like if he I was doesn't. ASAP Rocky, I'd respect that and be like, wait, this person's funny. I know, funny. I thought maybe he was going to think it was day. funny, but he, but anyway, I like, it doesn't matter. That happened years ago. And I, I never, I've never even met him in person. Like I've never had any interaction with him at all. So I posted it on TikTok thinking it was like innocent. And I like, I was like, oh, like, haha, remember when I said this to ASAP Rocky? And the sound that I used was like, I wish I had a time machine. Like, I wish I could go back yeah. and take it back. And I got cooked in the comments. Let me what tell you. Saying? Every single person's like, Cap, you're so fucking ugly. Like, literally, you're the most hideous person. He would never fucking talk to you. And Rihanna is so much better than you. And you will never, ever compare to her. It's the I'm Rihanna like, stands. It's the Rihanna stands. I know, but I'm like, first of all, I'm a Rihanna stan. And second of all, I've never met. It's not like I'm like airing out this guy who hooked up with me. I like yeah. I just made like that. I yeah. I told him a joke. Like it's and not I said, that yeah. serious. Yeah, and I was like, damn. Like, and someone said, someone said, like, you look like someone's auntie, and then it got like a couple thousand. <laughs> That's a like, funny ass. It's like, I promise you, I'm I will like, say that to someone. That's in the near up. future, they were right. But you I'm don't like, look like home. someone's auntie. You really don't. But I know a lot of bitches. I who hate do, that, and that though. And that is my biggest pet peeve on TikTok is when I see girls like talking or like. Talking about like celebrities I've hooked up with, I think that's like so tacky. Trashy, yeah. It is. It's tacky, but I, I that's <laughs> like, what I'm saying. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I am right here. I'm just kidding, I'm just uh, I don't do it often. I actually don't. And I only ever do 
air out the ones that are like pretty much public knowledge. At least like, like a I just do. my thing is, mm. what if I want to do that again? Like, I don't want someone to not want to talk to. That's me also like, like I'll for make fear a joke. of me like airing them out. I would. That's the thing. So if you hear me say someone's name, just know I probably have not hooked up with that person. Pete Davidson, baby, though, call me back. Come on. Call so me serious. back. No, I, I only, I really try to only air out either public knowledge or like Tyga. Like, I don't care if we ever fucking speak again. So I'm like. See, I, I guess I did talk about, well, did I talk about my Tyga experience? Have Tyga? you fucked Tyga? No, but <laughs> one time. No, LA really be this like is that. It's a funny story, though. When I, I, was, I had a tent, too. Okay. I was like, I was down. You're like, I, I want go, a piece of what everyone's getting. And so getting. he's like, he invited me over one night. I go over there and we sat on a love sack for like six hours, watch TikToks, just watch TikToks, crying, laughing at TikToks. And then I just went home and we held hands, never hooked up. He didn't even try, like we didn't kiss or anything. It was like the most wholesome thing. I'm like, really, like, Tyga? You're like, I went to I King's like, Damn, I, th- I thought he was about to fucking. I, I was like, I was, I was ready to <laughs> switch lanes. Seriously, wait, that's. I was awesome. ready to switch lanes. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of like insane, though. That's like fire. That almost makes me feel. Like I know, and it's funny. I see him out now. Yeah, I, I every time I see him out. I'll like go the next day and he'll like watch me. And I'm like, I don't even know how he remembers my name because I was the least memorable person of all time. We didn't. But I mean, six hours on a love sack with someone well, we, watching like, TikTok. So you were vibing. I know it was fun. And it was it was funny too because I, he's going to be like, bitch, why the fuck are you talking about this? But whatever. He I, like <laughs> he would like, like he liked all these like stormy TikToks. <laughs> this tea good as shit. Wait, I don't want to say that. Like, well, Please you can, leave it in. No. Please give like, the but, people well, that. The exclusive Please. tea you can only find on Cancel Pod. I'm Please. Scared, but, well, because we were going through his likes. We weren't going through like. I'm um, sitting in a just pool like f- the for you page, we were going through oh. his likes. So I saw what he liked. He liked like Stassi is like my best friend's rich check. Oh my god, I would <laughs> I love like, to go th- like going through celebrities' likes. It was on so TikTok. it was so funny and it was interesting and like and don't you just want to know people's for you pages? Absolutely. Don't you think Shawn Mendes is like Noah Beck? <laughs> For sure. I fucking hope. Shit. Mm. Just kidding. Is Sean Mendes is single now, right? Are you, ha- are you happy? <laughs> Just I'm already like, then so am I. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that though and lost my shit. I'm seeing him in... I'm seeing him in September? September, yeah. Imagine just like, I'm seeing him like you're gonna go hang out like your plans <laughs> in September. Me and Amari ran imagine? into Sean Mendes. No, imagine. He, like, oh, that on was the rocks, the- right? Yeah. I lost my shit. I thought I was kidding. I and thought then, I was like fucking with him. I'm like, yeah, Sean Mendes is here. Cause no, somebody like had mentioned just him. No, and and, but I turned, turned around and he was really there. I was like, wait. Lost my shit. He's so tall. And then he, he like, I couldn't find him for a period of time. And I was like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And the, or no, and someone asked me to go to the bathroom. I think it was like Ty. I don't even know. And I was like, no, it's fine. I don't have to go to the bathroom. And then all of a sudden I like, had to go to the bathroom because couldn't find Sean anymore. And I didn't Ty's even like, go to the bathroom. He's like, you don't even have to go to the bathroom. You just want to like look for him. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Duh, like, I remember that. Hall pa- who do you think is your guys's like actual hall pass? Like that's who you can cheat with. I don't get those. You don't, Chris. Come on. <laughs> oh, you, you like. Please. I just like wouldn't cheat though. Yeah, but like you if know? you have, to cheat. <laughs> yeah, if you have, no one's putting a gun, gun to your head. No gun cheat. to your head. You you have to cheat. <laughs> when does that happen? Me in the mirror to myself. <laughs> You're like Chris. I swear. <laughs> oh my god. Um, no. Oh um, my no, god. No, I'm dying though because that night I remember Ty came up to me like I'm fairly angry at the bar and he's like, I'm already just keep taking laughs to look for Sean Mendez. Duh. <laughs> like, Duh. Are you kidding? Holy Are you I don't kidding? even I, I, that's your biggest crush, right? Who's my biggest crush? I can't even really oh. Pete. It was mine at least. Pete, I don't know. I'm like moving past Pete because I feel like he's he's in God's hands now. Same yeah. with Justin. I like I love to like, but I like an unattainable celebrity crush because I think we talked about this, but there's something about our lifestyle where it's like the second this person that you are idolizing and love with obsessed with you, like is talking to you or fucking you like the obsession is now gone. Yeah. You like humanize them. There are certain people that I don't yeah. even want to have That's any like interaction with ever. But like Lil Wayne yeah. sent me the address several times and I couldn't. Yeah, and you just like, make the choice. You're like, I can't, I can't ruin this for myself. Like, I did that with like with one of my favorite like artists ever. I like kind of ruined it. I humanized him. And now it like, I still love it. Cause like, what if they're awful? Like if, if I were to hang out with Lil Wayne and like, I just, well, A, I just wouldn't even want to look at him as like a person, but like, God forbid he like gave me the ick or was like awful. Like, or said one wrong, like, you know what I mean? You, yeah. There's just so much room for like, I don't know. I get like two, I'm like, oh my God, I, I embarrassed myself or like whatever. And then I'm like, I can't, I can't even think about them anymore without cringing and thinking about how I embarrassed myself. Yeah, like I would just, I You know, I like I just, it's not worth the risk. Ew. I love the magic of it though. Like I loved like growing up, especially, we kind of talked about this before, but like I idolize the fuck out of celebrities and I still love like, feeling like there are people who were just like 
like stars. Yeah. And Let's, so it sucks because we're always around. Like, oh, poor us. We're like, <laughs> <laughs> it but, it, but, it, but it's like you don't really have those people anymore. Where it's like you see Leonardo DiCaprio at like fucking Air One, and you're like, okay, that's so true. That's why. That's why I love Justin and Pete because I feel like they're like Justin is like unto. Well, I guess and yeah. Haley Bieber like that. Like I just Haley know, like, Bieber I'll never like kick sweetest, it with them. perfect, most perfect little angel. She was so nice. Wait, she came into catch one time. No, she, I met her a million times. She's well, cause she, she <laughs> does. No. Remember, I've never I, met remember her. Remember, I took that photo. You guys, there's a photo. I'm gonna literally put it on the screen. I one time, Justin Bieber, it, Jeff oh, Wittick, David uh, Dobrik, and John Shahidi were all like taking a photo at a holiday party, and Justin hands me his phone and he goes, "Can you take a photo of us?" I'm like, "Sure, sure." And then I he also had, he had Jeff Wittick that is on with Justin Bieber like that. I'm like, dee, 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 dee. you had, take the phone and run. No, he just got the new iPhone. <laughs> he just got the new. Phone. And I we couldn't figure airport? out. Neither of us could figure out how to turn the flash on because it was like right at the update. And so he goes, so I'm, I'm like, oh, like I don't know what to do. So I take the photos on my phone and I airdrop them to Justin Bieber, and I still have all the photos. And it's like, and they're live too, so it's like you can see, like Stop. I can press them and they're now. live. Can, can we please, can, oh can we God. just take a quick break so I can watch the live photo? I really was it your idea I to remember. airdrop them? I'd be like, oh, I can text them to you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm like, it airdrops, I can't find you. What's your number? Like, wait, I know when it, it was December. Taking your phone and running is such a funny Run, concept. Straight though. to the airport. Yeah, was, like, <laughs> flight is booked. Like, so I can start imagine by, they gave by, you like his, his passcode. No, you turn uh, it to his face, face ID, do the dash and digi, uh, the schedule is busy. Go to settings, make sure that it never locks. That's so great. I'm happy. December, what was it, Twenty, maybe 2019? Like, what does his camera roll look like? It right. was. I found it, wait. I found, hold on, it's right here. I just want to hear the audio. Wait, how come they're not pressing? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give wait, how do I make it play? Look faster, faster, I'm dying to know. I don't know how to make it. Like, oh, this is when Justin was like. Oh, yeah, he was, yeah, he was, he was, he was, yeah. He was sick. Oh my gosh. But they're just on my phone. Oh my God. I know. Sell that as an NFT, shit. I know. <laughs> Jeff though. I'm like, I know. What a photo though too. And it just, I was, I, I'm like, wow. You need to like you should photo dump that. I know, and that photo like, never went. Right. Like, nobody okay. ever posted that photo either. I just have it on my phone, and here oh it is. Oh my god, you've got a JB rare. <laughs> I have a Justin Bieber rare. <laughs> We've all had a bit too much to drink before. Not me. That would never happen. And woken up with a splitting hangover. If you're trying to make it to brunch, a workout, or anything else after a night out, Bloom can help you prevent the next hangover with just one scoop in the morning. I've noticed my morning routine can really make or break how my day is going to play out. Whether I'm hitting the gym or hitting the snooze button, probably the gym, I make sure I'm going to have my best day every day by starting with Bloom. Love Taco Bell, Domino's, tequila, cheesecake, but get bloated? It's horrible. The greens powder from Bloom is here to help with that. Bloom Nutrition makes it easy and delicious to give your body what it needs to feel your best inside and out. Their greens and superfood powder blend fights bloating, helps digestion, increases natural energy, and keeps your skin glowing. Bloom greens are packed with over 50 nutrients, including whole fruits and veggies, fiber, probiotics, antioxidants, and more. All in one easy to drink formula. Mix it in with a water or a smoothie to add to your daily routine. It comes in four delicious flavors, coconut, mixed berry, citrus, and original. Bloom is made for you. Whether you're trying to recover from a big meal or night out, or you're a fitness buff, over 350,000 people trust Bloom to feel better every single day. And right now, Bloom Nutrition is offering our listeners 15% off your purchase of their greens and superfoods blend when you go to bloomnew.com slash Tana. That's B-L-O-O-M-N-U dot com slash Tana for 15% off your purchase. Go to bloomnew.com slash Tana for 15% off your purchase. Thank you, Bloom New, for sponsoring today's podcast. I am sold. So honestly, something that I really want to talk about today was a bunch of shows. I I don't know what you guys have seen, but I wrote R. down- R.I.P. Ashtray. So Euphoria first, uh -huh. for sure. Okay, well, I read that Fez was supposed- Euphoria spoilers, but I mean, also, if you haven't seen it, fucking suck a dick. And by um, now, especially. <clears throat> yeah, Fez at this was, point, you're, you're a, you, poor you. Fez- was supposed to die. And then by the time they were filming the second to last episode, they rewrote it because of all the, all the like backlash. Like if yeah, Fez cause dies. If, if they fe killed Fez, oh my God, I'd probably, I would go on strike. Seriously, he is a great strike. character, but I saw a TikTok basically that like in the very, very first episode, it's, it's like something about either Fez or Ashtray. And it's like, there's like a flash 
of like a, it's like a flashback or like a light. Or no, something. in the first episode, Rue was telling. You know, in the first episode, Rue is talking about Fez and his grandma and like whatever and like their mm-hmm. backstory. There's a quick flash, and in the transition, there's a one second clip of Ashtray sitting in the bathroom, like in that the final scene. Yeah, it doesn't show the thing on his head though. So I mean, like obviously they could have like written that in, but I'm saying like. Isn't that kind of crazy? That is really crazy. And that's what... In the very first episode of season one, like, what the fuck? That leads me to the theory, though, completely, in my opinion, that... And maybe I'm wrong. This has just been my theory for Euphoria all along, that Rue is dead and she's telling a story from her life after she died. I 100% Yeah, or she's just, just like, high as fuck and she, like, literally made Faye up and, like... <laughs> so Faye oh my god Faye made a TikTok to Hefner okay here's the thing but she did yes, yes. I what? didn't know this but before I she was it. even Faye no like what? look like look I, but here's the thing is I've been does like she, does she follow you no this here's the gag okay so in 2020 like something for so long ago she posted this to Hefner put hashtag Tana Mojo hashtag Hefner hashtag bisexual whole thing dancing to Hefner right so obviously, if she wrote hashtag Tana Mojo, that's a fair assumption to assume that she knows that I exist, right? Well, duh, uh, of course. Uh, unfair <laughs> Yeah, but it's your song, babe. But I'm just so fucking scared to say shit like that on here. Like, Faye knows I exist. The comments are going to be like, no, she fucking doesn't. You are relevant. Yeah, be careful. Her, like, she I'm might just, trust Richard to you. Like, She's like, I don't fucking know who you are. Yeah, like, right. I'm so just, I'm saying. Pudding, bitch. Hashtags? It's a fair assumption. But I've DM'd her. I've tried. I've like, bro, I would die. Yeah. She's so hot. I would die. I well, love her. She's, she's so funny on TikTok. Have you guys seen her TikToks? Yes, yes. I've seen a couple she of them. She is so funny. And I, she, I, she gets me with the all like, every guy thinks he's a musician once. Because oh, I'm like, that one was so, so funny. so funny. hysterical. She's and her highlights on Instagram. Listens. She just like goes on rants. She's mad funny. She's she also beauty. shot for, um, you guys remember in the past podcast, I, there was a guy that was named Pete. Who we named yes, him Pete. Yes, we named him Pete. Uh, someone that I'd like for to talk his to. brand. Yes, she shot for his brand and he messaged her. He reached out recently after Euphoria was out. DMs her and was like, Will you shoot for my brand? And she was like, Yes. What let's a do sweetheart. It. You know yeah. what I love? But then like, I'm out here saying, Hey, and she's not saying, Hey, back. So I'm saying she knows she's, I no, exist. She's probably and just give getting a fuck. so many DMs. Well, she also nah, got hashtag like- bisexual. So like, Oh, oh I'm, I'm, I, I would die. Oh, would you go there? This is what I love the best, <laughs> the most about her is I love that like Euphoria is so good for this is like bringing people from all walks of like yeah, like how she did porn. Yeah, and how she, she was a porn star, dude. I have this one porn star that I follow on TikTok. I you've probably seen her. She's going like so viral lately. She has little spaces in between her teeth. And yeah, she's and so she's pretty. The mo- she's so beautiful and so cute. She followed she's me on so Instagram cute. and TikTok. I'm like, I love. I'm her. Her I don't know her name, but her I know name her is Anal Princess. Oh. Um, but her real name is Stella, Stella Berry. She's, I'm obsessed with how candid I would, she is. I wish like we could get like someone like her, like someone, to, I would love to like talk to somebody who like does porn and just like, you know, well, you get recruited. she's so, <laughs> but she's brilliant in her, I mean, her mom's a doctor She and she's very like well-spoken and like the way that she, doctor. like people will be like, how, when did you do anal for the first time? And her, like her responses are so like eloquent. She's like, it was such a special time. I was laying on my, like, she's just so cute. She's like, oh, that's cute. Why do you bite the sides of the pickle? I'm like, just not feeling the top right now, actually. Like she's literally like gnawing on it. Like it's a fucking turkey leg at Disneyland. I <laughs> wish it was a turkey leg at Disneyland. Wow, would, that sounds so to go to good. Disneyland. It's uh-huh. the, the thing that doubles as a weapon too. Some little kid's pissing you off. You're like, oops, swung back a little too much. You know, you're hitting kids at out. Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> with a pickle <laughs> no bitch a turkey leg oh. imagine smacking a bitch upside the head with a turkey leg bro that would be one, that's like one of these that, one of these no it really is I was just gonna say so I was watching iCarly and I think that growing I was watching it like recently and growing up I would watch it and I like I really was like oh I'm gonna like be a little vlogger one day this was like you know like I was we oh were raised God. in that era like I remember thinking like I'm Carly you know you I were. watched it back the other day and Sam Puckett is filling a sock with butter and like hitting people <laughs> yeah. with it and I was like I've I've always been Sam Puckett and I never like I never once Aww, realized and that. Chris Miles is Gibby <laughs> Chris, if you don't come in here and hit this <laughs> bitch, for is Gibby like in love with Sam? I'm just kidding. No, he, no, he's Gibby's just, just like. like <laughs> 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 See, listen, I'm on to something with this. One. Also, I didn't know Chris was still here. Chris, if for your birthday we should so throw an iCarly theme like Gibby theme party, wait, just me. Fun. I'm like, wait, he gets a party? Wait, I call being um the bagel guy, <laughs> just because he's black. <laughs> 
Oh, perfect. Who should I be? Oh my God. In jail. Oh, Maury, I was, um, this is something that like is public knowledge to everyone. And like, we talk about it a lot. But the other day I, I discovered the feature of watching Instagram, your archive stories. Yeah. And I was, and I have really bad memory, like trauma, substance abuse, so many things just all together. I don't remember like my whole life, my own life. I don't remember yesterday. Like I have such bad memory in general. So I was, I like spent a whole day just watching like a year of my life because it was so cool to me. I was like, wow, like I can actually like, I remember this day. This is so cool. We threw an entire Texas and Canada themed birthday parties for our boyfriends who had the same birthday and they both cheated on us. That night. No, mine was not that night. Mine was not that oh. night. Also, literally have never once on the internet said that. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, there you go. You have no. never <laughs> on this podcast. No. You've never uh, aired out well, Aaron I feel like cheating? it's been long enough now. Yeah. But what, like... Uh, I he guess my question it. is really like, how does one take that high road? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know. Oh, someone cheats on me and I'm, like, Joe, you, well, he's not even dating me, but I'd, I'd, I'd be full first and last name, address, everything. <laughs> oh, honestly, yeah. I should have done that. But because also like, like he cheated on me and then we got back together. Like we're like, but then like, I don't even know. So weird. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I now I got me a man. <laughs> I got yeah. me a man. <laughs> I love Ty crazy. so much. I don't know what we ever did before him. I'm not. I kidding. did come Seriously. to that birthday party though that you're talking about with the mechanical bull. You and were there. I was there. No, but yeah, looking back on that, we really, guys. we really threw our got, cheating exes a fucking birthday party. I really got cheat. I'm not joking, you, dude. I'm not kidding. To even worse than that, that night after we'd thrown the party, he was up later than me. Um, being and you know, he was just tweaker. like click clacking away. No, but he posted a story of me sleeping that night. I saw it when I was going through the archives and it was like, this is, I'm not even kidding you. It's a photo of me sleeping. And it's like, this is the most beautiful, perfect thing to happen to me. Like every single day. I thank God for her. This is my angel. Like, I don't know what I would do if I like didn't have her like at Tana Mosher, You're the love of my life. I don't know. Like, I'm not kidding. Like whole novel across the so whole screen. Crazy. While he was cheating on me that Wait, what, night. Wait, was he dick picking other girls? He was just. Dickity pickity. When I looked <laughs> back, <laughs> like. <laughs> he, I think he was just asking girls for nudes and asking them to keep it low key. It's actually the other day someone said to me, and Chris, I, I think you are a far better person than Brad. So please, while you're outside listening to this, don't take this the wrong way. Duh. I'm more so like, duh, no questions asked. I, and I love Chris like way more like none of that. But I'm just saying like the amount of fights Chris and I have had that are like insane. And like, I forgive him. Like I really at that time was so like, I, I was like, Brad, get the fuck out. Like get the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, that was day. like eat the like cleanest cut ever I remember you and were just like loved, see you later but he was loved, loved, do you think, do you think in a way fucking Canada so it's like where's he gonna go well he also was about to oh, get yeah, like oh yeah you deadass like move that guy you are a homosexual um, no, seriously. attractor but seriously do no, you but, think that at that point you were like already ready to break up with him and you were like thank god I have a reason well I actually was praying every night that god would give me a reason to break up with him yeah. so I took it as the reason Um, we, we were just it was he was getting there was nothing wrong with him it was, in that sense it was just like he was very controlling and I was at a point in my career where I knew if I let someone control me it like wouldn't I, I wouldn't be able to do so many things so yeah. I had to like choose that so then I was like you're cheating he was also very much in need of a visa and it was at the point where I was like debating on genuinely just low-key marrying him oh. not even for attention for, just for the visa you so I was like take stopped. your ass back yeah. to Canada seriously like oh my god Dude, like, he, well, he was just sending his dick to other girls I don't remember how like, did you find out did like one of the girls come forward or what no 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 we were at Coachella <laughs> We were at Coachella and I was like prancing around all night with Lauren Gray. And Such a cutie, like I her. love Lauren Gray. We were having so much fun. And I remember Brad was like, Oh my God. Wait, remember what like, I did to like Lauren Gray? Vietnam okay, flashback. He was screaming at me. He was like, Wait, I want to hear that. I want to know about that. That's funny. But he was screaming at me. And he was like, why the fuck are you hanging out with her all night and not me? Like screaming, freaking out. So then I do this bit. This is a long story, but I'll try to go quickly. I And I don't do it often. I've only ever done it three times, but I have done it to Chris, where if someone's trying to control my every move, I will completely, and it's so psychotic, but I just, it, it's honestly the one of the more psychotic things I like do ever. That's why I only whip it out when I need it. But I turn off my entire personality. <laughs> I turn off my entire personality and I just, and I, I make my eyes all big and bug like this. And I smile like this. And I'm like, do you need oh, anything? Oh, I hate Mm. Can I bring you a water? Up. How's the temperature in here? I'm so sorry. Like she's like the you? most like accommodating person of all time. Oh my gosh. Are you picking your nails? Would you like me to get you a nail clipper? <laughs> like that, like just actually like just psychotic, like whatever. So I was doing that to him all night. And then we were, um, 
leaving Coachella and we were in the we were in an Uber that he ordered and I'm sitting there you know she's like how's the temperature in here and he's like if you don't cut the shit like what the fuck is wrong with you like why are you doing this and I'm like no you just that would piss I was me having so off. much fun <laughs> yeah I was having so much fun with Lauren and I wasn't being attentive enough to you is there anything I can get you whatever he gets so mad that he cancels the Uber mid ride <laughs> And we're at Coachella and there's no service at all for miles. And we're in gridlock traffic for miles and miles and miles. And he gets out and he starts walking and the Uber's like, I'm sorry, you're going to have to get out. Like he canceled it, like whatever, which was so fucked. I was like, can I, can I pay you? Whatever. The Uber was like, no. So then I'm following him down the side of the road. I took a video of him too. I was with Mario Selman and Mario was cussing him out. I'll never forget this video. You make fun of it so hard. It's oh just my me. God. It's just me walking down the sidewalk with Brad Sousa going, you're going to do this to me? A woman? <laughs> A woman? I'm just screaming a woman. Which is also crazy because any other time I'm like, female rights, so I can do what men do. But in this situation, oh no. You're like, oh, it's about drive, it's about power. Chest. We're so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, for some reason, I was just this frail, defeated woman that he was leaving. And he, but no, but he was trying to like leave me just in the middle of nowhere, no service, like gridlock traffic. He was trying to like run down the street. So I was like upset filming it. We get back to... The I've actually never told the rest of this story. We we get back to the house and I'm like, you know what? I'm really sorry. Maybe the story's too dark. And it too is. Far. It's a little dark, but things it were is. already rocky leading up to that point because I didn't go to weekend two of Coachella because like the ex didn't want to. So I mean, if he didn't want to, I couldn't do anything. Oh God, we so, are an awful relationship. Um, seriously. So um, but I remember at weekend one of Coachella, you were getting irritated and you're like, please don't do drugs because when you get when you do drugs, you get really fucking annoying and like just like so awful. awful. Just, and no, he, he did. wouldn't. And he then did. like Bella and then had he this huge did. Like he like comes back to us and like we could just tell. She's like, you're on drugs, aren't you? And he's like trying to lie about it. And then like finally it comes out and we're like, why? No, <laughs> like certain men have this thing. I mean, honestly, most men in LA do drugs. I'm sorry to say it. Or maybe I'm just around the wrong crowd. Some people can do them and you don't fucking know. And then certain men, I, I can think of like a few artists right now off the top of my head have this off jaw. hanging jaw and the they jaw do the fingers. Hinge. They do the little claw fingers where they're like, so where do we, where are we? <gasps> Makes me, it's oh my God, biggest sick in the ever. world. The biggest sick in the world. His fingers will be like falling off like he was like, Edward scissor hands like fucking out here. And I was like, I can't look at you. It's like the big eyes Silent and like that. fingers. Ew. Like, Ew. So awful. No, and then like Bella Thorne at a party, he wouldn't let me go. And I was like, why can't I go? Like, we're cool. You <laughs> I went, not. lost my phone. <laughs> Great. Yeah, but no, so I had to like sit at home. So by weekend two, I was just like obviously very over it. We get back and then I'm like, you know what? I'm really sorry for being crazy tonight because this was before I was just crazy. We actually were pretty healthy for the majority of our relationships. So I was like, I'm really sorry for doing that. I just get really upset that you're constantly trying to control me, especially when I'm at Coachella and I want to hang out with my friends. And then I was like, I want to break up with you. I hate, Love I you. almost hate that we just told that story because you know, he, he wants 10 to talk about him so bad absolutely you know he needs the attention he's in every single time she's going live he's writing 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 i'm like brad shut the fuck up yeah sorry brad he's, he's, he's he is so hot though <laughs> <laughs> he is Fair it's enough. just like bieber uh-oh <laughs> like tw mindy <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I, didn't mean to laugh that hard. I didn't mean to laugh that hard. That was unnecessary. The laugh was the laugh was I short. I literally count Love on kidding. fucking. Literally, I could account for like ninety thousand times. Tana's done that to girl. What to other people? Oh, 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 to, oh, yeah. Never to you. I love you. Spencer. Yeah, that's true. I'm just kidding. We're pretty good. About I will that. say we haven't that. had very much I'm overlap. We actually don't. Out of like all of her exes, like he probably is like the best looking one, only because he looks like Justin Bieber. Really. He is really hot. I think Brad kind of started the like it was almost like being with someone that was so perfect looking. It like almost made me like See, attract to the opposite. Do you of almost that. feel like sometimes that could be like a little unsettling? Like I don't like the idea. Chris, like, you're looking. hot. If everyone's out there laughing, like I'm calling Chris ugly, that's not what I'm fucking saying. I'm saying just like n not the abnormal archetype. No. Oh my tats. god, do you know what Chris is out there? Like man, fuck this bitch. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was I was saying just like. The like cookie cutter guy versus like face yeah, tats like dying. Like, like it's like what started me being into that like opposite. I don't know. I but love I, my hot white men. I don't. I love a, a, good, a, a good, good, good. Well, ugly. I my hot white man. <laughs> a good big ugly. <laughs> big ugly. Today's episode of Cancelled is sponsored by Current. Current is the future of banking. Spend, save, and manage your money better with the Current app and debit card. Earn points on every swipe 
redeemable for cash back rewards. No ATM fees on over 40,000 in-network all point ATMs in the US. Overdraft up to $200 without overdraft fees. Current members are now able to earn 4% annual percentage yield APY on savings. That's 60 times the national savings rate average of 0.06 APY. Any member who signs up for a current personal account can start earning interest daily by adding money to their savings pod and enabling the interest feature. Members can transfer money between savings pods and their spending balance with no lockout periods. There are no fees for this feature or balance minimum requirements to access it. I enjoy using Current because the intuitive app design makes it super easy to track spending. It's a lot easier to use than a traditional bank, can keep up with my lifestyle, and every time I see the interface, it makes me think I'm about to receive a prize from Reality House. Oh, that's so true. It was on Reality House. Hey, there's nothing better. Now remember, canceled listeners, we've partnered up with Current to give away $1,000. That's right. Current is going to give away $250 to four listeners of our show. All you have to do is download the Current app at current.com slash Tana for a chance to win. Remember, that's current.com slash Tana. Winners will be awarded April 1st, so don't wait. Don't. No April Fool's here. No purchase is necessary to win. Purchase won't increase chances of winning. Void where prohibited. Eligibility restrictions apply. Visit current.com slash Shanna for full terms and conditions. Current is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by and Visa debit card issued by Choice Financial Group, member FDIC. The current annual percentage yield is variable and may change at any time. Terms and conditions apply. Thank you, Current, for sponsoring today's podcast. Who I've been loving a lot lately is Ken, Ken Urich. I love her. And then I I think I, I don't know what happened or like, cause I followed her. I don't know if I commented on one of her TikToks and she saw and followed me back, but I definitely followed her first. And then all of a sudden it said like your friend when I was watching one of her TikToks and I was like, wait, what? Yeah, I love her. She's so my God. That's the most exciting thing. Wait, I just had an instance. I'm uh, so excited about it. So I, I was at dinner and I saw Cody Ko and Kelsey Kreppel walk in. Uh Uh-huh. And I told the girl next to me, I'm like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with them. Like, I'm I'm gonna have a stroke. Mm-hmm. And I, she's like, oh, let me introduce you. Like, they're my friends. I'm like, no. Like, it, another one of those instances where I was like, I don't even, like, I don't want to inter- embarrass myself, look stupid, nothing. Like, yeah. I, I don't want to meet them. But then as I'm walking out, Kelsey, like, grabs my arm and she's like, I love you. And I, and I, th- I thought, I thought, she's like. She's so sweet. Well, I was thinking my friend must have told her, like um like you know she's a fan of you or whatever so i was like mm. oh like that's so nice of her she like make a wished me you know she's like <laughs> she like said something nice to me but then i ran into her the next night and she was like i was so embarrassed i don't know i just ver- word vomited i don't know why i said i love you but i like she like watches my videos she was like you're so funny like i love you, my Wait, that's you and she's Collab. like and you've been looking so good like and i was literally like like my mind was blown. I'm like, there's because I love her. That would be an like, iconic wait, video. That's the two so of you. cute. I have so a funny. It made me so happy. I'm like, I love her so much. She's a sweetie heart. I have She's a, a funny heart. story like with her. So a couple years ago, um, like this is literally like three, four years ago. I didn't know who she was, but I like go up to her and I was like, you look so familiar. Like you look. I thought that she looked like she could have been one of Jordan's sisters. She like, does. She kind of looks. Like I thought you were gonna say a Greer. No. She and does look like a Greer, too. The eyes. They have the, it's the eyes. Yeah, the eyes. But so I was looking at her and I was talking to her. I was like, you look so familiar. Like, and I'm just staring at her and I'm like trying to figure it out. And I'm like, I don't know where it's from. She's literally Kelsey Kreppel. And now <laughs> yeah. I'm like embarrassing my fucking self. Also just thinking she's like and Jordan Morona's sister. So like, I was just concept. like, oh my God. And it was like Sorry four years ago. She kind of looks like, like a Dina. New. It was, like, I don't even know. Like, social media was like much newer to me. And I just didn't really understand. Like, I didn't, I didn't really know much about Cody that's Co. crazy. It's crazy when but you like, then, like see a celebrity or something and you're like, oh, hey, like I must know you from somewhere. But it's like, no, babe, like they're on your favorite show. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, fuck. This is really embarrassing. And then like, I don't even know. Some time passed by and I was like, ew, I'm so embarrassing. No, she's like so sweet. She probably didn't care. Oh, we were yes. talking about Lauren Gray earlier. God, oh, Jesus Christ. You guys, wow. I'm so sorry to Lauren No, I, I honestly like this. We're kind of killing this. Seriously. Yeah, um, so... <laughs> if you recall an episode, I don't know. We, we I never said this, right? The... <gasps> Wait, I gotta know. I gotta know. I know what she's gonna say. It Dude. is so funny. Go ahead. Go okay, ahead. first of all, I love Lauren Gray. I've followed her forever. She is the queen of TikTok. She's so my sweet. original. Uh, like, love her. Sweetest, sweet. And I'm, I, I came on the podcast recently, and I told everybody that they should use a magic eraser to get a spray tan off. Okay. Little did I know, those are like, like ridden with chemicals. Like, like you, bleach. you get chemical burns on your body if you put it on your skin. Which I've only ever used it like on my hands, like where I get- To like, get spray tan off? Yeah, where I get like really fucked up, but poor Lauren Gray scrubbed the fuck out of her neck with a magic eraser to get her spray tan off. Mm-hmm. And I gave her 
chemical burns. Wait, did she say it was because of your- No, so then she she posted a video on her fucking account with what, what 60, 70 million followers or something she has. So crazy. And she's like, never listen to people on the internet. I just got chemical <laughs> burns from using a magic eraser on my neck. And I immediately I was like, oh no. I commented and I was like, Lauren, baby, I'm so sorry. And she commented so back. She's like, ha, ah, like- she thought it was funny, but like, Lauren, I'm sorry. Like, holy no, that's shit. Insane. And don't do that, you guys. I didn't know. The anyway. title of this podcast is like, Brooke assaulted who? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, okay. Have you seen either um, Tinder or no? You haven't seen Anna Delvey, huh? I haven't. Oh my God, you need to. Let's the other night, oh, I wish I could. I don't even know how to describe this. Lila like came over and this guy was offering her 12K to come hang out with him and bring a friend. Nothing, they just want just hang out. Like obviously it was like on seeking. It was Suddenly like, I'm on my way. No, right? <laughs> this whole fuck? thing. And they're going back and forth and you know, it's just Lila. She's like, send the wire now, like whatever. And he like won't. And apparently, and I didn't know about this. Her other friend who was gonna go with her was like, oh, oh, you need to download this app called like Mr. It's like Mr. Man or something. I don't even know what it's called. Um, Cause like they were, he was just, he sounded very sketchy and I never intervene in Lila's things either. She'll be like, I'm going on this two person jet to Guadalajara tomorrow. And I'm like, get in your bag. Just, Cause usually it's like fine. Usually it's like some yeah. CEO or it's like nothing weird. So I never want to speak up and be like this, like, but th he was on the phone and it, was, it just sounded so fishy. And he just kept being like, show me your body. He's like, show me your this, show me your that. And it was, it was just the way it was happening. It was very, very weird. And I was like, yo Lila, I'm never one to say this, but like, I don't know if don't you should go there it. right now. Like, don't go there. Um, and she was like, okay, I like I want to, whatever. And then her friend was like, no, it's kind of sketchy. Download Mr. Whatever. <clears throat> and it's this app where you can put any guy's phone number in from like from seeking arrangements or from the internet or from whatever. And other girls leave reviews on him. What? And this man like rate my professor. But yes. 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 Rate my daddy. This exactly. Rate my this man had like 40 reviews for like being awful, like verbally abusive to girls, like pushing them, like not giving them their money at all, like Tinder swindling fully, not paying absolutely anyone, and like being so sketchy and scary. Oh my and it was God, crazy. no way. If only um, the swindled girls knew about that but app. But check this one out. I start using the app to type in hella people we know in LA's fucking numbers. Oh, no. Hella fucking like executives and managers you know you and shit. You type in. I did, and he's on there. And I, I, I didn't, bet he is. I did, and he's on there. This huge manager. We're, That's who I was thinking. No, wait, he's on oh there, my God. and it was and it reviews from him too. He's this huge manager now for hell of people in like social media and shit, and he's very well known. He has reviews dating back to 2016, like good for a couple fucks, doesn't pay well though, like crazy shit. About he's told me he's told people. me stories about like porn stars and stuff that he's hired. He told me he was on Seeking Arrangements. He's like, yeah, he told me one time shit. he saw me on Seeking Arrangements. I was like, That's Ooh. embarrassing. That's uh, embarrassing. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. The, see, the fact that you have millions of dollars and you you have a seeking arrangements profile like, like for what? is so insane. For okay, what? no, 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 hear me out. I mean, it's I don't like I spend all my money on pickles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, um, for I mean, now I don't like use seeking arrangements, but back in the day, I definitely always had the mindset of like, yeah, you it were doesn't seeking matter. an arra arrangement. It, it doesn't matter how much money you make. Why would you spend your own? But also, it's good. Like, yeah, that's like one thing I've learned from Tana is that's how you stay rich is spend other people's money, but not like your friends. Like just you know, men. yeah, until it's on your lift account, and then you do not. Do that. <laughs> we have an invoice team. You got we do, we do, we do. I got, I got, I got my bag. Got you got reimbursed. Bag. Seriously, I might ask you to swipe, but uh, I'll reimburse you if you're, you know, um, but. Yeah, like, and you can switch it to your city. So back in the day, too, if I was like on tour, I was like, who gonna pay for dinner in Nebraska? You know what I mean? Like, it's just why I wouldn't. No have one. That is no nobody. Fair. Nobody's paying. For I know. Dinner I in never Nebraska. really. Where can did. you even go to dinner? No, that was gonna sound so stupid. But I met the. Is <laughs> there there restaurants in Nebraska? <laughs> I met my, the. the She's manager, like looking for Nobu tonight. Seriously, the no, is there Nobu Nebraska? Oh my god, can we go to Nobu tonight? Yes, we can. Okay. Looking for someone in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> There's hella people. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I met the manager of Michael Jackson's uh, like will estate? And estate. Yeah, like through on wow. seeking. So I used to meet like crazy cool people. You know. Oh yeah. And what's like, your story time about that? I think. Yes, that did happen. I fucked. I fumbled that bag. That's also my thing. I'm like, mm -hmm. I love fumbling bags. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's the worst bag you've ever fumbled, both of you? You think you have one? That might be one of them, I'm not gonna lie. Cause he was like a literal billionaire and I could have just like had the world taking care of me. I tried to date a billionaire one time and it did not go over well. I've never really like fumbled any bags. Cause I don't really like, 
like chase after men or anything like that. My problem, my um, I, I, <laughs> listen, I my problem is I like am a poor like everyone who I like is like low key like kind of poor. <laughs> Wait, but I have like a funny story. So there was this like this is a couple years back. Uh, it was like pretty like a few months after Aaron and I broke up. So I was like still like down in the dumps or whatever, and I was like uh, I had like just moved to LA I think or like lived in LA for not that long, but we were living in we were living. Yeah. And um, there was this one guy that would never, ever, ever give me attention. I know but exactly like, who it is. He's so famous that, now, too. You think so? The the circles he'd be running with is what I mean. Yes. Like, okay. You so can like, see him with the Hadid. Uh -huh. Easily. And, he, he is with Hadids all the time. <clears throat> Let me see. God, now the people are really good. Oh, and oh, oh, oh. Um, so... No, that could be anyone. I really wanted, like, I wanted to hook up with this guy because, like, I just, like, thought, like, I would see him in videos. I was like, he's so cute. Like, I feel like he's really funny. He is like, cute. blah, 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 yeah. whatever. And then I found out more details leading up to it. Found out, like, he was a bottom, like, all this stuff. I was like, this is great. <laughs> Look at him. Like, of course he's a bottom. I, oh. But he also, like, doesn't, like, speak. So, like, oh. I wouldn't fucking know anything. So, um, a couple months after, it, it's, like, Halloween. And. I remember. Oh wait, no, 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 no. There's the okay. We have to Did backtrack the, a tiny. Up we, too. No, we have to backtrack a tiny, tiny bit because it was the night that we were going to the chain smokers party and we tried to like break in and you had to come help us. We ran into him and another girl on so the way down. So embarrassing. He saw and, to break into that party. Um, but they were walking down and we were walking up and we we're like, oh yeah, we're going in now. They're like, oh yeah, it's fun. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Bye. And then after that, he like messaged me on Instagram and called me cute. And I was like, wait, this is crazy. I was like, Tana, this is Oh my god, yeah. And he never followed me back, anything like that. Or How no. Weird. What a but we had snake. DM'd before. We had DM'd and so but he would never follow me back. I'm like, why the fuck won't you follow me back? Like we yeah. were talking. Come on, come on. So then finally he like messaged me, he was like, yo, you kinda cute. And then um followed me back and I was like, this is not real. So probably like another month goes on. It's Halloween. And then one night, like we're both like wasted at different parties. He wants to like hook up. And I was like, oh shit. I was oh like, wow. God. I was like, you can manifest these kinds of things. You can. I know the story. And so um, I remember I'm at Jacqueline Hill's fucking oh my God, I was Halloween party. Yeah, you were with me. Yeah. And we're having a blast, getting so drunk, and then apparently he wants to hook up. But a week before this, my week, my birthday is October 22nd. So we were in Hawaii for a week. And crazy friend that used to work for Tana came and robbed all of my furniture. Robbed all of my furniture. Literally, it was just like oh, my mattress was sitting on top of my ex was just an awful bitch. My um, robbed you. Do you took all know my about furniture this? because um, when I like first moved to LA, like I was like I um, really had an assistant work for me for an entire year. Let her go because she like she wanted to quit anyways. She was just awful at her job. Like sorry, love you, girl. But like it was like Ashley's friend. We were trying to help her out. Whatever. We went out of town and she told Jordan that we said that Amari would give her all of her furniture. So Jordan let her in. She came in, took all the furniture out of Amari's room, and it was, we came back to a mattress. And it was furniture. And Jordan that, was like, it was furniture that she bought for her. She bought the furniture for her she moved out I bought it for her. well not but like didn't I buy it for her furniture, bought like. it like for she just bought furniture like for the yeah. house for that room whatever she lived in that room for a period of time yeah she i was left. never giving it i up. moved into that room and so oh, then so it was so then yeah it was yeah that was my now fucking now furniture your bitch room. and if anything so then, it was my fucking furniture yeah <laughs> so then come back from hawaii after my birthday, so hungover, and I'm like, so many shrooms, like, floor. not okay. Like, and I was like, oh my God, all I just want is to just lay in my bed. No, oh my God. come I, on I got, I got into walking in my room. My mattress is too. sitting on top of Ikea drawers. Like, you know, like when a bed like has oh, pull out drawers underneath prison. it, it's sitting on top of these drawers. I, and I was like, oh my this. fucking God. So then uh, I was, we're like, Jordan, this is your fucking fault. I was like, I have no fucking furniture. Like Jordan, you're buying me all new furniture. He bought me a bunch of like, did he? yeah, he bought me the same stuff. Um, so I had furniture again. Thank God. But it took like two weeks to get there. So one week after my birthday, you, during Halloween, my bed is sitting on fucking oh, fuck. Does he not have drawers? a bed? Oh my See, God. See, he didn't even think things through like that. But like, but he, he wanted, wanted to, to come, come to mine. He wanted to come to mine. Oh, and I'm like, no. And you're like, I can't. Oh. I literally can't. I literally can't. You can't. Because how do you explain that? Oh my God, Rob. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> And that just but sounds like other, someone who doesn't have furniture no, like, lying. Yes, and then yeah. it's like every and other I've, room in the girl, house is fully there. furnished you ever perfectly up fine. I was so fucking pissed. So then, never happened. That's such a bummer. Maybe it could. Well, no, no. Why? Why would I say that? No, Ty, I oh love you. God. That yeah, no. this was. I could tell so many stories. Her. Uh, that's a funny podcast with Ashley. Her to tell all of these stories. But her ex boyfriend, I remember too, stole everyone's phones at Coachella, and we caught him. 
like we were all at Coachella and I always keep my phone at festivals in I my, forget about in my bra or like in my literal pussy. I don't care no, because I'm so scared of everyone taking it. Everyone. And it's like my phone is like my, I, I can't. So it's it, my phone was probably like inside me, right? And so, sorry. And so everyone else had <laughs> theirs like in their active. pockets and whatever. And we're, and it's everyone. It's like Ashley's dating Michael at the time. It's Mario Selman. It's like, yeah. our, it, uh, Mario, my it, phone got it's stolen our too. whole friend group. And we're all at this set and my assistant's there and her man's there and they're like our friends and whatever. And this was the Coachella too, where thousands of phones got stolen. Like, do you oh, remember yeah, that, that like, one where mm -hmm. they found all those backpacks like just full of phones? Yeah. Full of like 500 phones, whatever. So it was like, we're all at the set. We all leave. Everyone we, it starts realizing they don't have their phones. And I mean, it was like chickens with their heads cut off, you know? Like Mario screaming, Mario's crying. Eyes I, would, oh I would lose my mind. Michael's if I ready my phone to. At Coachella. No, seriously. Michael's ready to like fucking kill someone. Amari's just like trying to figure it out. I think you were like calling him up. Like everyone's freaking out. And then my assistant at the time, she's there too. And I think her phone didn't get stolen, but she didn't know what was good. Like, you know what I mean? Like she was like trying to help everyone. And you could tell she didn't know what was good, right? Mm -hmm. And then we all get home. And he lived in Fontana, California. Yeah. Like far as fuck away. Fontana is also a small place. Yeah. We don't know anyone from there, anyone, whatever. We track all of our phones and they're all like in Fontana. And then I think that like eventually, I almost said her name. Eventually the assistant comes back with like one person's phone like randomly and we like caught him and she, they would just never admit to it. And, and that was, and he would always bring guns weird. in my house. There was a time where I, we were driving back me, Trevi, her and him from Coachella and he like, they started fighting and he took a gun out of the glove compartment and shit. That was like why I fired her for the most part was because it was like dumped just, him. Yeah, mm -hmm. or, yeah. yeah. It, and, like, I, yeah. and then I, I like there's only one way it could have like, been him too because I remember when we were pre-gaming I, I mentioned because I was wearing cargo pants multiple pockets you know so uh -huh. I didn't have it in like my regular pocket I was like I'm gonna be smart I'm gonna oh, put it in like a lower you. pocket or something that like shuts and like that's not my regular pocket so why would someone if they're trying to steal a phone if they're gonna feel up on me they're gonna like go into my regular pocket you know yeah. and I mentioned that and that's where my phone you got told swiped the from. swiper I did it so like, swiper, like, no yeah, swiping. like that's crazy I'm like I thought he thought. was my homie oh my yeah. god that's fucking insane no, stealing is like the weirdest I actually stole accidentally by the, the other day what did you steal? You steal? wait what did I steal oh oh my god you guys I'm at this party and I was wearing this little leather jacket and all of a sudden I just didn't have my jacket on anymore I'm, and I was like where the fuck is my jacket and so then I'm like oh my god there it is it was on top of this thing and so I, I put it on whenever I go home and I'm looking at the jacket later. I'm like, this is not my jacket. <laughs> like, was it better at least? No. Damn. It's just, it just not right. It was just not quite right. I stole on purpose recently. <laughs> what did you steal? Amari. Say? <laughs> Your lawyer's like in there. I'm like, Melody, if anything. <laughs> um, also, my poor lawyer. Just She just sits here so cute throughout the whole podcast. Yeah, she's so, listening to us. Like, we bled all over his back. <laughs> well, so basically, I'm at like Vaughn's, and I was getting some stuff, and I was at self-checkout. And you know how sometimes self-checkout just starts fucking up? It's like, please see cashier or whatever. And uh -huh. it's like, someone needs to come over to assist you. Like, I kept doing that. So finally, I was just like, it didn't like three times and I was like this is just so fucking annoying I was like I'm, if it's gonna keep doing this like I'm gonna just take this shit so like I just stopped scanning items and then I just like put the rest of the items in the bag and then I was like finished to pay another friend of mine just told me too but that he'll go into a store and get a bunch of items at the grocery store and do self checkout and be on his phone fake frantically yelling like I just can't fuck out I don't know why you're acting like this whatever so like like scanning with like haze. so that he could be like it's it, it was an accident like exactly and then like doesn't really scan any of the items and then walks out with them and then like if they say anything it's just like oh sorry like i was just like super like like just like freaking out like all the oh back. my oh. god he would be trying to figure out he how to looks steal. he looks like he steals like i just look at him and i'm like i know that guy steals poor kid <laughs> I know. I don't know what I'm out here doing. Like just like stealing a couple items from Vons. Like I'm literally black. Like I'm like a year. They're probably like literally already yeah, looking at me like. Oh my god! They used to follow my. I, I couldn't go anywhere with my mom. They would follow her around. She's like, really? What the fuck? <laughs> that did you guys like see? Sorry, this is, I know we're over time, but did you guys see that Fashion Nova just bought the the, oh, the yes, one? So, uh huh. That house. That for one hundred and forty-one million dollars. Like, holy I'm shit! I'm like, I see where Fashion Nova's budget's going. First of all. I thought no one would ever buy that house. Yeah, Basically, so there's yeah, she's been no, like running right around there. to I each one. I just cracked the can. I'm like actually oh. like. Oh, you have to stop doing that. It's like an anxiety it's thing. It's I think so I'm sorry. Gross. It makes yeah. it look like ooh. No, and like when it's like your straw, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> You're done. Uh, we don't even have to get into the house shit. Fuck it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Canceled with Amari and Brooke. I really like this trio. I hope you Me guys too. like it. We should do this again. I love Ew. the the lack of beef here has been incredible. I love to see <laughs> us all together. Seriously, let's let's bring everyone in. Brad Sousa next episode, whole thing, no beef, twenty twenty two. It's gonna be great. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you guys for coming. We love you. Thank you guys for listening. Bye. <laughs> Tana Moshe is cancelled. A DWE talent production.